Nonprofits tend to be very mission driven and people are hired or recruited to the organization because of their commitment to the mission and maybe to a lesser degree because of their competence or skills and that can be a risk but also because they're mission driven they're very trust driven organizations and when you're very trusting you tend not to put internal controls in place and as I said have said many times trust is not an internal control and internal controls are not about mistrust I think it's important for people to use the trust but verify principle that's been used widely by presidents and others when they go through nu nuclear disarmament talks and things like that but it applies to accounting systems and financial departments as well trust but verify is it's about internal controls it's about trusting your employees and having fun but developing a system where everybody knows that what they do is going to be reviewed by somebody else because that helps the organization achieve its mission. It helps assure that there are no errors in the statements that are produced. It helps assure that reports are produced on time. All of those things help the organization achieve its mission. If someone leaves the organization or assumes a different role within the organization, you go into their user security rights and you change them so that they are appropriate for their new position. And then you don't have to worry. I can't tell you how many times I've done an internal control assessment where people say, well, yeah, Susie Q can do that, but she never would. I know that. And I said, well, if your accounting system will allow you to undeniably verify that she cannot do that because she doesn't have the root user rights, wouldn't that be better than just relying on trust? And yes, it would. I think it would.